here as well. Take a look here at Pool B, how it sits there. Samoa who took out Wales earlier. New Zealand very strong against Japan in their opening encounter. New Zealand will be the ones coming up next against Wales. And New Zealand met Samoa in the quarters last week. So they find themselves matching up again in the pool site here at BC Place. 20,000 strong crowd come out here at the HSBC Canada Sevens in Vancouver. And the next pool B sees New Zealand, currently ranked 15th, only playing one tournament so far. Silver medalists in Singapore against Wales. This is the last few encounters. And it's all one-way traffic here for New Zealand in this one. They're on a 36-game win streak against Wales, dating back to Adelaide in 2008-2009. And here's a look at the sides. Alongside me, it's former New Zealand captain and the great man, Carl Tanana. Yeah, really looking forward to this one in terms of New Zealand. It's been their young guns, Kitiani Vai in Jersey 1 and Caleb Tangito in Jersey 12. They really have been outstanding for them over the last couple of weekends. Were good in their first game as well. But this Welsh team, we just saw the graphic. They need to score points against New Zealand. They haven't been able to do that, and they haven't been able to threaten this All Black 7 side. So for me, it's all about Lutre Hahn, the captain. He's got to tell his team, we don't have to play fast, but we have to have the ball, and we can't make any mistakes to have any chance to win this one. Well, they're the captains. Sam Dixon for New Zealand. Luke Trahan, the doctor for Wales. They take their place on the field here for match number two. For them, New Zealand taking out Japan 40 to 14. Wales losing to Samoa 26 to 12 earlier today. And the All Black Sevens, coached by Clark Laidlaw, is back in black. Two changes, Joe Weber, Andrew Newstep replaced by Narohi Magabi Black and Kurt Baker come into the side for this event. And the Welsh, no changes from the team that finished 12th in Singapore last week. With the whistle in hand, Rivero for his 12th match on the series. He's all smiles to be here on this brilliant stage for international servants. Wales in red will be kicking off to New Zealand in black. Pool B, good morning to our New Zealand fans and good evening to our Welsh supporters. Luke Johan for Wales kicks off to New Zealand to receive this. They jump up really well. Kitiani Bai moves it across field. Tony Nashu in as well. To that far side, it's the captain Sam Dixon that takes them on. They did in 2012, an early penalty to Wales. Yeah, it was good work by Trehan there, getting straight over the ball, realizing where the contact was going to be. Sammy Dixon, they knew, did Wales where Sammy Dixon was going to crash that ball. A great turnover. Callum Williams out of the Scarlet's Rugby Club. Planned little move with Swanick and Trahan kicks it over the top. Trahan. New Zealand come back and they take it out. They own end goal. Oh, it's unfortunate though, a little push in the back by one of the Welsh players and then it's a penalty in Z. So just a push coming in. New Zealand with Kurt Baker. Baker bumps through a couple, flicks it back at the inside. Aquila Rakalasoa will stretch the legs. It's New Zealand that open up their account with a full field effort. Oh, I like the tactic from Wales using the chip in behind because there's no sweeper by New Zealand. With just one mistake from a Welsh player pushing New Zealand player in the back. Gave New Zealand a chance on the other side of the ball. Kurt Baker with a strong break. Knew he probably didn't have the legs. He would give it to the young buck. And Rockley saw his go. says, go have that, son. Go all the way. You're good. Where the thumbs up from Kurt Baker. Uh, a little stutter step afterwards as well. Scored against Japan and now against Wales. Aquila Rakalasoa. Kick goes over. 7 0 New Zealand. With Kurt Baker, 33 year old. 126 tries to his name. Fantastic player over the years. Except for that restart. Well, he knew straight away to come off the boot. She was no good. Turned his back in disgust, and this is where Wales and Chalk off will scrum. Yes, they do. The KB, he does these all the time. He's so good at it. He knew straight away it was off the shin. Thumbs down, KB. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kurt Crouch. Baker, been with us since Dubai 2009. Bye. 
Yeah, now, Luke Chahan, he's the most experienced player here for this Welsh side. 48th event. For me though, Dallin, Wales got to get the ball Crunch. in the hands of Lloyd Lewis, the number 11. He's on the far side of the field at the top of his screen. I was impressed in game one by him. Set. Let's see if Lewis can get possession here. Luke Chahan manages a YouTube page called This Is Sevens with his brother. Could have been out scrum. Oh, yeah, the boys just flexing their muscles there from the All Black Sevens. Sammy Dixon, Katiani Void. Tony Marshu. Rock Alasoa, the 26 year old, taps and finds the experience of Baker. Short ball to his captain, Sam Dixon. Oh, a little pick up around the fringes. Rock Alasoa, half scrag. Baker is there looking for support. Chohan has him. Dixon drifts across field. Takes him on yet again. Caleb Tangito is there. Cross field, Leroy Carter. Nashu, big, strong, powerful Tony Nashu. Flicks it up here. Kitiyonivai does well to stay in the field of play. Baker is there in support. New Zealand, full stretch here. Rokalasoa goes on the outside. Tangito, that is brilliant. Caleb Tangito. Gets in the corner, and the All Black Sevens have their second. Yeah, patient play there from the All Black Sevens. Take to the far side of the field, using their big boys to set up on the outside. Kitiani by this time. You see they're turning our shoe early. What that does, it spreads the field right open. It spreads the defence right open. Then this guy, one-on-one, -on -one, Caleb Tangito, has been brilliant. They signed with the All Black Sevens program at the start of this year. 19 years of age. And he has NZ second score. Flags go up as well. It's an excellent kick. 14 0. Love the enthusiasm, though, that these young kids have brought in, such as Brady Rush, Caleb Tangito, Kitiyon Nevai. They don't look out of place, even though the first time is on this World 7 series. Clark Ladlaw, the coach, six seasons, started the role in June 2017. He's done really well scouting the next generation of New Zealand players. Restarts has been an issue, though, the last two. Yeah, that's two in a row from Kurt Baker. Again, won't be happy with that. Will the Welsh go to a scrum? Remember, they got monster there just moments ago. Yeah, don't go there. KB? Nah. It gives Wales a chance here to tap, and they almost break through straight away. Balls on the ground. Penalty. Cole Swanick tries to get things going, but New Zealand come up with it. Kitiani Vai wrestles it free. Oh, he's almost tripped up there. Goes to the right. Rockle so in the magic feet. Oh, nice little move. One ten. Not ten meters. Yeah, turning our shoe straight over the ball. Very strong at the ruck area. New Zealand can already see. Placed a lot of emphasis in the contact area so far. They really dominated the aspect in the Welsh. Well, they've had no ball to play with. No, they really haven't. New Zealand only lost one game last week because the final against Fiji 28 17. So brilliant to see the man back in black. Short ball. Dixon comes in a beautiful angle. The captain runs over Luke Johan. Tony Nashu spots a bit of space as well. Throws one dummy. And the fair Nashu still going. Wrestled to the ground eventually by two Welsh defenders. Vai to the right hand side. Rokolosoa goes to Baker. One wider. The number 10 switches direction on the bounce. That's where the space is for Kitiane Vai. Acceleration. Oh, on the <laughs> How many fins is that? Wow. That is New Zealand showing their power. There's a couple of things in this try here, Dylan. That's impressive by a young man. Get the keeper's composure because it wasn't the best pass. When they come back, here's the initial... Strong run from Tony Nashu. They go back to the right hand side to New Zealand. And then it comes back to the left. Where Kitiyon Nevoi had nothing on. There's one. There's two. I'm sure there's another one left. There's three. Oh, four. Five. Can't stop, won't stop. That's outstanding. Using your arm to keep the player at bay. 19 nothing. Final moment in this first half. His father played internationally for Samoa and his older brother, Milani. 
played for Samoa under 20 as well as the Blues and Auckland in New Zealand. That restart is fantastic this time and it comes off Dixon. Rockala Soa stretching the legs. Oh, it is magic from the All Black Sevens. And Leroy Carter scores for New Zealand. Yeah, another one of the young buds coming through for this All Black Sevens team. But geez, this is super impressive right from the restart. Sammy Dixon in the air. Ribs exposed. Goes up nice and high. The physical mismatch against the opposite captain, Luke Trahan. But it was the offloads. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. There are athletes all over the park in these teams. There's one offload. There's another one. And there's the last one. Well, if your last name's Carter and you're from New Zealand, you have to be good. And Leroy smashes one in here for New Zealand. He 22-year-old. There's a name to keep your eye on. That's half-time here in this pool clash. And it's NZ. They're up 26 points to nothing against Wales. So apologies for any language you heard there in the huddles. It gets pretty tense at times. And this is Richie Pugh now, the 38-year-old Welsh former captain. Rugby World Cup 7's win in 2009. Played in 32 events for Wales from 2005 to 2013. Brilliant to see him leading the side here. He was appointed Welsh Rugby Union head of 7's November 2021. Yeah, Wales have a mountain to climb here in the second half. New Zealand have been full value for their 26-0 lead. But Wales, can they spark some magic here with some of their youngsters coming through as well? See what they can do here in the second half. And Kurt Baker has been pulling the strings. Okay, two. Two. Are we good to go? Hey, yeah, two. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, Let me know. Flat. It's the HSBC Canada okay. Sevens here in Vancouver. In Flat. beautiful BC place. It's New Zealand in black on the left. They lead 26 to nothing here in this Pool B clash against Wales. I'm Dallas Stanford joined alongside by former New Zealand Sevens captain Carlton Nana, and it comes off the top by has it on that far side. Kitiano Vai scored one already, gets the offload away to Nashu. But Wales will be able to capitalize here with position. You got options. Options. Oh, and he looks a bit sore, does Kitiano Vai here. He's won uh, Kelly's Hill so far for this All Black Sevens team. It's been the restart. Trahan goes high. Knocked down here from Chris Smith. Tony Nashu is there, flicks it up. Kurt Baker on that far side. Baker. Come off, please. I have tried, but check. Yeah, okay. Came out. Okay, well. Yes. Try, yes or no, please. We will check that for you now. It looks like yeah. the assistant referee said try, and I think this might be okay. Yeah, no double movement there for Kurt Baker. Yeah. Kids okay. only by though, he looks when like he's not screen, good. It was tough for Trey Hahn, it was okay, missing ball from the well showing and line out for him to take. So it is try awarded here for Kurt Baker. Gets try number 127 in his career. Remarkable player he's been and what a kick as well to go over. Here's another look at Baker's try. Yeah, Sam Dixon getting up and competing. Nice pick up by Tony Nash shoot. And Kurt Baker just had enough strength to get over. Let's see what they do here on the restart. We mentioned it was an area of focus that they need to improve on. New Zealand as they progress in this tournament. They played some matches against some Fijian sides early leading up into the Singapore Sevens. That restart's been touched by a Welsh hand. Behind the mark, please. Thank you. One single, one single hit. Tough edition. You see Kurt Baker, number four on the list, all time scorers. Seven black and six. Styles to Marcy Thama. Seven black. Coach here, DJ Forbes and Timmy Mackelson. Yes, wait. Players from the brilliant era. New Zealand. 
I mean, we're, we're champions on the series uh, 13 uh, times. Uh, Carlton Ani were there for four of those wait. series championships. It's a long time ago, though, huh? Black and white VHS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good to have you back here, KT. Kurt Baker with his side up 33 to nothing. Rockler so dishes it off a nice little move here. Carter comes back to the short side. Just held on there to Kurt Baker. Great skills from the veteran. Rockalasoa, always ready to dance. Leroy Carter, Carter puts his head down. Carter gets to the first wave. Jahan, great tackle from Luke Jahan. And it's been pinched here by the Welsh defenders. Excellent stuff there. Chris Not Smith really. getting involved here. And the penalty for the doctor. A cross field goes the Welsh. Very little possession to speak of. Finally, they can get something going here. That was a bit of a nothing He's pass here. Lloyd Lewis has possession now. Lewis, the 25-year-old. We know he can motor. Lewis going back to the middle of the field. Initially isolated. For but the they keep it to the Welsh. Quick tap and go again from Smith. Wales looking to skip on with Paul Swanick on that far side. And Nashu getting involved. We must explain here, Dallin. Even though he doesn't catch it on the field, it's a legitimate try to intercept their pass. He just doesn't get it. But if he doesn't my voice. attempt it, that's a yellow card. So that's the difference here. Yeah. Yeah, great point. Referees gave us a nice little briefing on that. He's crossed the sevens game. You don't want to be deliberately knocking things on, down. Boys. He'll be off to the bin. But that is a genuine attempt. Hold, hold, hold. Crouch. It's Wales possession. Boys. Wales. Set. Yeah, they're great players over the years. Luke Morgan. Silly Lee Williams over the years and one of those is still here Luke Chahan in midfield looking to cut back in is Morgan Williams debuted in Singapore 2016 the Welsh speaker again the ball spits loose you can't do that against New Zealand they will make you pay Leroy Carter picks this one up play with New Zealand under 20 Rokolosoa to Baker He attacks the line. Morgan Williams has him. He's not a move. So no more He's yet. There's no, more, no knee on the ground. Trahan comes in for a little hug. Now Baker able to get his knee on the ground and set a ruck point here. Rockalasso. He's got such wonderful feet and the dummy as well. Aquila Rockalasso goes across field. Carter is there. He's got one already in this game. Is Leroy Carter. The big jump step. Tony Nashu comes in. Huge work right here for the All Black Sevens. Gillian Collier on the field. Flip ball to Nashu on that far side. Tony Nashu eludes the first, and there's nobody else home. And New Zealand will bang another in the corner. It's just a physical presence as Tony Nashu. Him in tandem with Sam Dixon have been good in this game. Out on the edge, one on one. You need help. You really do. And then Morgan Williams couldn't hold on. The powerful legs of Tony Nashu, who just trot New Zealand's fifth try. And Kurt Baker realizes the situation. He knows he's got his big boy on the outside, and he goes on the outside. Does Nashu? And man, he is a weapon out there. Such a powerhouse runner. Named the Richard Corson Memorial All Black Sevens Player of the Year in 2019. Yeah. Tony Nashu, Naraki Mugabe Black on the field for. The NZ Sevens, 38 nothing to score here, under two to play. Wales, who lost to Samoa, 26 points to 12. Staring another down the barrel here, nice old play there. Arthur Lennon to the halfway line for the Welsh. Ewan Perz Jones steps one. He's thrown to the ground. Just 18 years of age, 343 days on the HSBC World Rugby Sevens Series. What a Great moment it is for him in his rugby career. Wells tap again. Dummy switch and a big bump on the far side. They keep it alive. Under all sorts of pressure. It's good, here's no taco. Carrick McDonough, Arthur Lennon. Chipped over the top here. Swanock gives it away to Collier. And Tony Nashu will just recycle ball here for New Zealand. Looking for their second victory in the pool stages to go to the quarters here. Brady Rush loses it. 
So to Bonich, Bonich oh, oh. for the man in red. Fizz Jones gets his ankle grab, able to get out of it with those yellow cleats of his. Oh, he's full of steps, isn't he? Finally puts it to the ground here. Madonna. Played for Wales in the under-26 nations. They decide to cut up the middle. Morgan Chanowski. No clear release. Your assistant tackler. He's not clear your release. Well, this is what we haven't seen from Wales in this game. Extended pair with ball in hand. Yes. Undo the right place. So, I find a few moments here for Wales. Cole Swanick tries to get the ball back. Nashu who flicks it up for New Zealand. They could just bang this one out if they want to. Carl Joaz floats one over the top. Oh, lovely little fan. Narohi Magavi Black, though. Fires it back in the field of play. Backwards. Backwards is the call. It's been hacked ahead. Another lovely little soccer kick in here. Oh, that is tremendous. Morgan Williams will touch down for Wales, and they use all sorts of skills to get it done. Got one of the biggest cheers of this game as well, and a four right until the last second to get some points, and good on them too, New Zealand. Nearly with down the other end of McGarvey Black. Yeah. Good kick in to the field, and well done, Morgan Williams. Well, they get one try in this game. It's a lovely little touch here. Finishing off for Wales, finally on the board in the final moment of that game. So in the end, it's New Zealand with a convincing Pool B victory here. They take out Wales by a score of 38 points to 5. So strong performance there from New Zealand, winning their second one in the pool stages. The men in black are back.